Happy Sunday afternoon, meteorologist Casey Herman here with your afternoon update. We are once again seeing chances of severe storms today. We are seeing the best chances in that area in yellow that's under that slight risk by the Storm Prediction Center, Great Falls, Lewistown, Miles City, Glendive, Glasgow, and Haver. Those are seeing the best chances of scattered severe storms, but we can't rule out seeing some isolated severe storms and possibly even some strong storms in the marginal risk area in that dark green color. Already seeing those storms pop up along the Rocky Mountains in the higher elevations as well as southwest Montana, making that same pattern we saw yesterday moving towards the north and the east. Temperatures right now as of 2.45 p.m. We're seeing 80s and much warmer temperatures towards the east, upper 80s, lower 90s. Looking at the rest of the evening here, seeing some showers and possibly some storms moving in around the Great Falls area um, into north central Montana about 3, 4, 5 p.m. We're going to continue to see those storms move northeast and as they do they might strengthen a little bit here looking at 8 p.m seeing some pretty strong storms out there uh heading towards the northeast we're going to continue to see them kind of die out though as uh that heating gets colder as the day moves into the overnight hours we're going to see mostly clear skies overnight tonight waking up to mostly clear to partly cloudy skies tomorrow morning as well temperatures will be in the 40s 50s and 60s for those overnight lows and then chances for more thunderstorms tomorrow but that severe risk kind of moves towards the south and the east including bozeman buildings and miles city but we can't rule out some strong to severe storms in that marginal risk area, which includes Butte, Helena, Lewistown, and Glendive, maybe even seeing a few non-severe storms pop up from Missoula to Great Falls and eastward. Now looking at what we got going on for Monday. So like I said, we could still see some storms pop up, but mostly starting off dry and pretty clear tomorrow morning, but increasing cloud coverage moving in from the west, moving towards the east in the afternoon as we start to see some of those showers and storms pop up in southwest and along the bo Idaho border here. Coming a little bit stronger as we head into the later evening hours, but continuing to see some lines of some storms into tomorrow night. So temperatures tomorrow will be in the 70s and 80s, so mostly below average in north central Montana, mid 80s in eastern Montana. We have chances of rain on Monday, a little bit possibilities on Tuesday, but we're, we're drying out pretty good Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we are also going to be tracking some stronger winds picking up on Thursday and Friday, which is going to cause some fire weather concerns, which we'll keep you updated here as we head into the work week. And then our next possibilities of some rain will be next weekend. So temperatures mostly below average here as we head into the entire work week, but then starting to warm up a bit by the end of the work week Friday and into next weekend. So just stay tuned. We'll have updates on air, online, on our app of this any severe weather possibilities throughout the day today. Um, with these severe storms, we could see some strong wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, possibly some small quarter size hail and some heavy downpours.